all the way up north here in Denver at Broomfield. And we're at a place called Sports Oasis. I'm here with the general manager, Bill, who basically you walk into this uh, industrial area. You wouldn't expect to see this kind of activity, but quite honestly, when you pull up, Bill, you can feel the energy out in the uh, parking lot here. A lot of people having a lot of fun. You guys have basically turned this industrial building into a playhouse of fun. I yep. mean, tell me a little bit about what goes on here. Right now, we uh, have sports leagues, volleyball leagues that run basically Monday through Friday. Uh, during the winter, Sundays we have doubles. Saturday we're mainly for tournaments and events, but as you can see, we've got volleyball leagues that start at 6 o'clock and go till about 10.30 at night, and sometimes later. Thursday and Fridays we have drop-in where it's not leagues, anybody can show up and play, and you just pay a cover charge. and get a wristband for overage, underage, and play some volleyball with, meet a bunch of new people. Fantastic. I mean, first of all, here in Denver, the weather gets kind of cold, and uh, basically, uh, I understand probably the owners thought this was a fantastic concept because people love this kind of sport, but you can't do it year-round outside. That is correct. Our busiest time is during the winter because all the other sports you can't do indoors, m mostly. So. We're, we're pretty busy towards the beginning. Uh, once fall hits, it's hard to get into the leagues, but we want to push that summertime. Once you get your teams in, you're, you're in as long as you get your paperwork in. You got it. Now, you guys have definitely um, transformed this place into a fun mecca for people to have a great time. I mean, if you didn't know better, you'd think you were sitting out at the beach side and having a good time. You guys have really paid attention to details. Tell me a little bit about that sand those guys are playing on. The sand is awesome. It's like you're on the beach almost, but you're in Colorado. Um, it's great sand. We rotor till it about once a month. It turns up. The nets are all regulation. It's, we have big tournaments here. and It's awesome. Now, Bill, obviously the sand is fantastic out there. It's great for breaking the fall and a lot, of, a lot of fun playing in. But after you're done playing, I'm sure it gets a little bit dirty. Tell me what happens. I mean, can they clean up? How does it work? Yep, you can clean up right around the area. They have a little wash area. And then back in the back of the bathrooms, we actually have showers. So you can clean and go straight to wherever you need to go for the evening. Wow, that's convenient. Very convenient. Now, if you fall down in some of that sand, does it kind of break the fall for you? It breaks the fall for you. It's nice and smooth, cushy. I'm looking around here and I can see also not only you can get your game on here, but it looks like you can get your drink on as well. Tell me a little bit about your guys' full bar and what you guys offer. We pretty much offer anything at the bar. We've got 12 different beers on tap. If you're a regular here and you want to drink something and we don't carry it, let us know and we bring it in. So we pretty much have a full bar, small uh, bar menu, and try to cater everybody that comes in and have a fun time. Fantastic. You can come on in, have a drink. But like you said, as far as age goes, so basically if you're underage, you can come on in, get a different type of band, and still enjoy the fun. That is correct. Wow, that's great. Let's talk a little bit about the food. Not only you come on in, you get, get going with the play. I imagine after you work out a little bit, tell me a little bit about your menu, what you guys offer. Uh, we've got everything from chips and salsa, fries. We've got awesome chili cheese fries here. The wings are awesome. We've got a French dip sandwich, just pizza, everything you're looking for. And not, nothing too elaborate. It's We're at the beach. Fantastic. And those are uh, Bill's hangover fries, right? That would be correct. Bill's hangover chili cheese fries. You can add bacon, everything that works. Excellent. Sounds good. Now, like I say, you've got you've got the leagues going on here. People can go online and basically um, get involved with the leagues. Like you say, sometimes they're busier than others. Um, I'm sure you guys like to keep your rosters full. I noticed something on there called um, find a player. So if a person is maybe, maybe you're not with a group. Maybe you don't have two, three people, but you still want to come in and meet some people. How does that work? It's called the players pool, and you just click on the need a player, and you can sign up under www.sportsoasis.com or via otr.com volleyball the rockies and you just go there give some information if people need a sub or if people want to join a league they get there people pick up new players to play there we also have free agent nights about once a, once a month where a bunch of people can just show up and play and try to meet new people and you're pretty make regular a with your friends tell me what you like about the place um i just kind of like the atmosphere there's a lot of really good people and there's really good um competition as far as volleyball goes. So just kind of come out here, have some drinks, have some food, play some volleyball. Cool. You're originally from Colorado? Yes. Born and raised in Denver. 
Excellent. So you understand that it gets cold out, and so you guys can kind of enjoy this place year round. Year round. Year round is the key. Like you can play indoor as well, but a lot of people like to stick to sand, like myself. So that's kind of what we do. A lot of these guys are obviously um, pretty well trained. They they enjoy the sport. A lot of them are just wanting to try it out and learn a little bit. Tell me about your clinics. Tell me about some. What do you got going there? All right, we have clinics every Thursday from four to six that Chris Brady Hoff puts on. She's been coaching for 20 years. Awesome person. So those are our Thursdays, four to six. She also does individual. We also we have different divisions. So we have everywhere from beginners to recreational, all the way to advanced division one, where we have guys competing in open tournaments and do qualifiers around the nation. So we have all levels of play. Everybody's welcome, and we'll put you where you where you belong or wherever. Fantastic. That sounds great. And not only if you're basically all done with your league, and I notice a lot of the people come down and get a drink or what have you, but even if you want to shoot a little stick over there, play some game, you got that as well. Yep. We've got two pool tables, foosball, ping pong. You could come just grab a beer and hang out. There's a lot of great people, fun place to hang, even if you're not interested in volleyball, but most of us are. Um, yeah, pretty much every week for the last year that I knew about it. Pretty awesome. Very nice. We're, um, have you ever seen a facility like this before? No, nope. I'm from Kansas, so I, this is completely new to me. Okay. Well, the reason we came out here, we're known for basically digging deeper into Denver, and I'll tell you what, we dig pretty deep over here and found you guys here. But honestly, you guys are bringing something quite unique. There's only, what, the one other place here in the one city? Other one other place. It's the island. It's the same owner, and that's off of Geneva Street, but it's off of Iliff and in between Havana and Parker. So if somebody wanted to come in and maybe rent one spot or maybe have a party or a convention, you name it, tell me how that works. Do everything, just give us a call. Um, we'll rent anything from one court to the whole facility. We've had wedding receptions. We have elementary schools that come in and play for the day. We have a bunch of cool, fun things, and you can rent one court to the whole facility. I imagine this would be an awesome idea or opportunity for a young kid, maybe even the end of year season or something like that. You have your end of season party here. Plenty of end of season parties, birthday parties, uh, even done some proms and just works of everything. So Wow, fantastic. Tell me the facility. We're talking about uh, some serious square footage here. We're going to show it on the video. I'm sure the people are taking a look at it now, but tell me about your square footage, what you got under one roof. We have got about 30,000 square feet of uh, sand. A lot of fun. And then we, I don't know the exact here, but we've got a good bar area that'll seat a good 100 people and a big, full, long bar. It wraps around. You'll see it on the camera later. You got it. That sounds fantastic. Looks like the energy's starting to pick up over here and a lot of people having a good time. We're going to pull the camera out. We're going to get some of this footage and get it all and maybe give a glimpse of the people out there. I'll tell you what, folks, we do dig deeper into Denver and we found something, uh, quite the gem here. If you're from Colorado, you know that basically you're not going to find a place quite like this. I'm sure your eyes are being enticed right now to come out and check these guys out. I'd recommend you come out and take a look at it. Even if you came in, drank a beer, I bet you're going to get a, a little anchoring to get out there and play a little ball. That is correct. Fantastic. This is Gary Atencio with CNTV. And if you don't know, now you know.